Lord, oh my soul. And all that within me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name. Uh, yes. Thank you, God. If you let me share with you just a little bit of this. Uh, found in the ninth chapter of St. John. You might have to give me a little bit of a little bit of sun because I'm losing. Let me get one of the kids there, brother. Thank you, sir, for sure. Oh, my God. You already read the story so many times that it's been told to you. So to get down the road just a little bit, because since you helped me preach, I'm going to count that for your time being with me. <laughs> I know you said thank you. What you said. Because in this next chapter, if you want to turn that, it's fine. But you know about the blind man. Yeah, yeah. You done read it so many times. Yeah. You done heard that story so many times. You, you know this story by heart. You know, you know what was going on in this story. And, and, and so many times we have looked at this story and, and all we've seen was a blind man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've seen this story and, 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 and all which you saw was a blind man Receiving his sight. Yeah, all right. yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you looked at this story and you saw a man that was a little helpless. Because hmm? he was yeah. blind. Right. Yeah, yeah. You saw him a little disabled or maybe a little dysfunctional, uh, but not dysfunctional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because he, I want to use the word dysfunctional. God, because I'm losing my, my thing here, let me just go ahead and get comfortable, right? Yeah. Can I do this on live TV? Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're going to see it today. You know. <laughs> yeah. I'm at home. You know. Now, now, I did it for you, Sister Giles. You told me to dress up. <laughs> I, told her, I, told her, I told her John, I said, I got the mic tomorrow. Y'all better treat me right yesterday at the table. I ain't getting everything. Huh? You saw that man in a dysfunctional position, and you saw him not really where maybe he should be. Mm -hmm. And don't, not only you, but somebody else saw him because uh, the Pharisees, if you've been reading this story properly, the Pharisees saw this blind man as two things. They saw him as he was sitting and bagging. You see it? Yeah. Because they knew him when he started talking. Is this not the, the blind man that was sitting and bagging? Mm -hmm. My God. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you, Spirit. Because I'm finna run. You better keep up with me. <laughs> the disciples saw this man as somebody that has sinned. Right. And they also saw the parents that caused this function all. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The saw man that who did sin, was it him huh. or his parents? Yeah. Oh, oh. So the first thing I want to bring in your in your sight is the theme that says, for the glory of God. Mm. Yeah. See, you have looked at all of this as being in a dysfunctional way. We have looked at this chapter, but we didn't see what the word of God said. Why was this man blind? This man was blind for the glory of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, we see what it said. But you see with the verse 3, 4, and 5. Let me just read something so you won't say, you just preaching. Just preaching, he ain't read no scripture. So 3 said, Jesus answered, Neither have this man sinned, nor his parents, huh? yeah. but that the word of God should be made what manifest. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So how many times we we always want to go and try to blame somebody for our problems? Uh, right. Huh? We want to connect with something to, to give us the excuse that ain't nothing wrong with me, but something wrong with that person. Because therefore, if I can blame my parents. If I can blame you or blame my wife the condition that I'm in, that leaves me to go free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
that leads me not to deal with me because we, we want somebody to look at my wife or look at my husband or look at this or look at that but don't look at me yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. the disciples here they, they want to know who did what they want to get in the business, you know. You know how we like to get in folks' business, especially on the divorce side or relationship side. We want to know which one messed up, was it the man or the woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? But the man who ever telling the story never would never say, "No, it, it was me." <laughs> I did it, but we like to play. It seemed like it was. Somebody else. Well, but this right here, when you begin to look at this, you'll find out that for the glory of God is what we need to see today. And we ought to see this in its full uh, capacity because we might come into this story. But if you read in verse 1, you will find out that as Jesus passed, Jesus saw a man. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Well, we can start hanging out right there. There were many people that, that, that were brought to Jesus. Yeah, right, yeah. right. But this one right here was kind of special. All right, all right. Because Jesus was looking for somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. It didn't matter what kind of condition he's in, but he particularly used this particular blind man in his ministry because he wanted to show the church that they was blind. Yeah. Yeah. And that they couldn't see the glory of God. Yeah. Did you read your Bible? Yeah. Yeah. Because in the last chapter, it was a stoning ministry. Mm -hmm. You remember the stoning ministry? Yeah. They brought a woman and set him in the midst of Jesus and said she was caught in adulteress. And then what shall you do? He said, you, should we stone him? What did the Lord Moses say? Stone her. And Jesus marked on the ground. Oh. <laughs> and then he got back up and said, all right, let he they have not done anything. Cast the first stone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you see that? But what did she say to the, to the woman? He said, woman, go and sin no more. Yeah, yeah. 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 Why can't she go and sin no more? Because she met Jesus. Yeah. 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 And now, before the end of the story, we find out that Jesus have just talked to the Pharisees. Yeah. They just told the Pharisees that they were blind yeah. and they couldn't even see him. Yeah, yeah. And I am the true bread that came down from heaven. You didn't eat that true bread. Yeah, yeah. And they want to say that, yeah, we did because Abraham was our father. Yeah. <laughs> and Jesus messed them up. Jesus told them before they left. Abraham seen me. <laughs> because I was before Abraham. Yeah, yeah. So as they been down to pick up a rock, he, was, he just went on. But he brought this man into this ministry mm. to show him, the people that they were blind. So he took a blind man from birth. Yeah, yeah. Can you see that ministry? He took something that the Bible said in effect that a man that can't see has no sin. But because you say you see, your sin still remain with you. So he took somebody that ain't never seen nothing. All right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my God. They called him into his ministry. Yeah. <laughs> my God, my God. All right, all right, all right. We're going to get on down the road. He called him into his ministry because you want to see the verse that says, and he said unto him, go and wash in the pool of Salah. Yeah. Or Salon. Or uh, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Which is interpreted means sin. Mm -hmm. See, the word call and sin and go all connected to the plan of salvation. Mm -hmm. yes. Go ye therefore into all the world. Yeah. 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 You can't go until your eyes have been opened. Yeah, yeah. Right. Say it. Right. Yeah. Say it. You can't preach what your mama preached. You got to preach what God told you to preach. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I go ahead and lean out on here. Yeah. All of my preaching ain't from the pulpit. Some of my ministry is from the penthouse. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Some of my ministry is back there on the back door. Yeah. Because I want to be a, a doorkeeper in the house of God yeah. and be hanging out in the streets. All your ministry ain't up here. Some of your ministry is right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you call it? I call it.
kind of the sword mist. <laughs> And Jesus called this man for this man to be sent back to where everybody knew him yeah. as a blind man and beggar. Uh -huh. yeah. huh? Did you read the story? Because this is interesting. It was so heavy to me. He's like, I like, man, that's heavy. So he sent him back to the people that he just got through dealing with. Yeah. Uh -huh. He sent him back to them. And, and a lot of times, I want you to see this. A lot of times, people will try to deny your ministry. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 People will try to deny that you're not the son of God sent by God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not the woman of God. You, you, you can't do this. You can't do that. Because what happened here when he sent them back and he came seeing and the neighbor said that would have looked like him. <laughs> I think that's him. <laughs> because I, I like what Bishop said in one of his messages. Last time I saw him, he was down there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe he done raised up to here. So but it looked like him. Uh -huh. But the last time I seen him, he was sitting somewhere bagging. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. And sometimes you got to say what this man said. I am him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, I used to be him. Yeah. But I ain't him no more. All right. yeah. Him has been changed. Yeah. Him has got his eyes open. Hallelujah, Jesus. And so all of a sudden now, he sent them back to the same Pharisee that was crucifying him, throwing rocks at Jesus. And all of a sudden, they asked him, who called you to see him? He said, a man named Jesus. He didn't get smart, but I would have got smart. First thing, person you was throwing rocks at. <laughs> Same people that threw rocks at you. Yeah, yeah. That's the person that my 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 heal me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you want to get this today? Yeah, the same person that talked about me. Yeah, yeah. was the same person that healed me. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have been healed, huh? If you wouldn't have did what you said. Yeah. Because you did what you said. Yeah. Jesus found a blind man yeah. to show you the way. Yeah. 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 I say thank you yeah. for doing to me like you did to me. Because I never would have been in this position yeah. if you wouldn't have done what you did. Yeah. Oh my God, I need to get out of here. This thing is too good. It's blowing me up. Where's I'm at? Yeah, right there. So Jesus said, so this man goes to these Pharisees and they say, no, you ain't him. You ain't him. And you know what? They knew that was him. <laughs> They gave to his ministry. Right. They gave to his blind ministry. Yeah. You know you give to blind ministry. Uh -huh. So you can give an account to yourself. Yeah. Lord, I thank you that I'm not like this blind man. Yeah. I gave to him. Yeah. <laughs> so I can go down justified. Yeah. But now all of a sudden I'm about to change my life. Now you want to act like you don't know me. Yeah. You gave to my ministry. Yeah. Oh, bless the Lord. Huh? Move on for it. The next thing I want to talk to you is looking at something wrong. Looking at something wrong. So many times we have looked at the word of God all wrong. We have got what mama used to say the car. The what? Before the horse. Yeah. I know they do it now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but a lot of times we have took the miracle. And I know I, I ain't coming back here, so I can say this. <laughs> Got y'all. <laughs> ain't coming back here. <laughs> you ain't got to kick me out because y'all ain't coming back here. <laughs> and so what happened was, so many times of us, is, the believers, yours is not a miracle. Yours is a believing. Mm -hmm. yes, miracles belong to unbelievers. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But miracles don't belong to believers. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says that they shall see your good works yeah. and glorify the Father. So if you're doing good work, you're not a, a miracle. I know we did it. I've done it. 
I do my best at singing songs and doing things that I ain't supposed to be. I haven't made it yet either, but I'm not going to stay in the same condition once I know my tire got flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I'm going to get a spare. Yeah. Once I know I got stranded on the back road, yeah. maybe I will pay that towing expense yeah. <laughs> that they be advertising on radio and TV yeah. 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 to come get me. Yeah. So all I'm saying is that I had to learn this too this morning when he said, miracles is not for the believers, yeah. it's for the unbelievers. Yeah. 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 So now we've been looking for the wrong thing. So now, since you know where you stand, you can go ahead and walk into the. So let me say this again. You remember the day that Jesus was at Mount Transfiguration and they came down and said, Lord, why come we couldn't do this? They said, Because your unbelief. You had it, but you just disbelieved it. I mean, let's just talk that one. We just disbelieved it. Lord, help my what? Unbelief. Oh, bless the Lord. I think you got that one. So let's go ahead and let you go on home. Well, we're going to go ahead and close it because what I'm trying to get you to really understand today that God want to get you to your glorified life. Amen. And you got to understand that some things you just got to go through to get to it. Sometimes you got to take some abuse to get where you want to go. Yes, sir. Sometimes you got to go through some things. Mm -hmm. We always read about the children of Israel mm -hmm. had, had 11 days to give and it took them 40 years. Mm -hmm. Let's not be like them. Yeah. God showed them for an example. Yeah. Now God is trying to make us out of believers and let us know that once our eyes were we was once blind, but yeah. now we see. Yeah. 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 So we can't live any longer in blindness because God helped have delivered us, and he went through some things to do it. Now, we understand that some of these deliverance might, might be some, uh, some in, as we call it, embarrassing moments. You know, for somebody to, to salivalize his mouth that much to build some mud. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people can't see until you spit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they act like they... But as soon as one of these preachers spit, they wait, 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 hey, uh, rub you spitting. <laughs> you know, I just want you to see it. That's all I do. <laughs> because we are in a position where we just keeping ourselves in a blinding condition. So I just want to come to talk to you today straight away. Don't look back down here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't talk about over yonder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were at this spot, yeah. or when we was at this spot, yeah. we need to become like the blind man. And when they asked him a question, are you want to? Do, he first he asked them, "Do you want to be one of his disciples, mm -hmm. one of his believers?" Mm -hmm. He said, "Oh." Now you one of his disciples. So what happened to his bagging name? His bagging name was changed. He changed his name to a disciple. He'll never be known as the bagger man anymore. The man that can't see. Once you come to Christ, you will never be the person that you were. Yeah, 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 yeah. You will never be. Yeah, yeah. Let me just tell you like this: Try if you want to. Yeah. Once you've been changed, you don't even have the same identity because everybody see you different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Peter. Yeah. You know the crucifixion conversation. Yeah. He snuck in. That woman didn't know him from A out. It was dark time. Mm -hmm. But what he said? Your speech. Your speech got you. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we have to do. We don't look for the mirror. We speak the word of God yeah, that yeah. God has given us. Yeah. We got the word of God. Yeah, that yeah. we can speak those things into the system yeah. as if they go not. Just keep on speaking. Yeah. Because we got to become to the position where God called us to be. And he do lift it up from our eyes. So as I get ready to go, we found out that in the last verses, so God wants you to become glorified. So what he's saying here at the end, he says, in the third chapter, in my Bible, it's got a key. For it must have been a key uh, question. It must have been a key to all of our problems. It's a key. You know what a key is? It'll get you in places. Yeah. Yeah. It'll get yeah. you in places. Yeah. It'll get you where you nobody else can go. Yeah. Because you got a key. 
Yeah. And that's what he said to Peter. Yeah. Thou art Peter. Yeah. Thou art the church. Yeah. And I'm going to give you the keys yeah. to the kingdom. Yeah. Let me tell you right now before I go. But I'm still going. A lot of us got keys that we haven't even tried. Yeah. 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 It's called a master key. Yeah. But we're running around. Talking about we got a master key, yeah. but we ever tried the master key at nothing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All of you have played some video games, yeah. and you never got to the top until you played the bottom. Oh. Yeah, so yeah, why don't you yeah. try your key down here and stop trying to try? Oh. So here's Jesus coming into the episode of why the reason all of this was done. He said, neither, neither has this man sin. We always going around talking about how much sin we did. Yeah. <laughs> but Jesus want to let you know today, he's not worrying about what you did. Yeah. He want to worry about well, what you're going to do. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. And now he said, neither did his parents sin. Yeah. So stop blaming your parents yeah. about what's going on in my life. Yeah. And try to live in your life. I know your daddy was a rolling stone. No. And what he said here, but this thing was done for the manifestation of God. And the thing that was done in your life, it was for the manifestation of God. So stop being dysfunctional and start being functional. And start doing something. Started making some noise before the Lord. Yeah. Started enjoying that God has did something for us. Yes, Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> now I'm going to let you go. Jesus said that in another terminology of the, of the virgin said that we must work. King James said, I must work. Mm. The work of him that sent me. Yeah. While his day for the night cometh yeah. when no man can work. Yeah. Listen, here another key verse. I'm in the world. Yeah. I am the light of the world. Yeah. Jesus trying to let us church know yeah. that as long as his name is in this situation, as yeah. long as his name is in your problem, as yeah. long as his name is around you or whatever you're going through, yeah. then he become, he become the light in that situation. Yeah. And a person that is in light is not in darkness. Yeah. So you don't have the situation of what you continue to talk about. The I, I, I. There's no more I but the Christ that lives in me. That got me where I am today. I was out in my backyard today. I had to turn around and look at my big old house. But I had to, had to, had to, had to ask me a question. Really, how did I get here? Because it had nothing to do with me. Because everything that I know of me, how wouldn't have got me where I am today, huh? yeah. Because it was the blood of Jesus huh? that was shed. The blood of Jesus that bled. Huh? The blood of Jesus yeah, that rose yeah, up yeah, huh? yeah, on the third day yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. Huh? The blood of Jesus huh? that is going to come back huh? and receive the us unto ourselves and to himself. Huh? And no matter where you are, huh? because no matter where you are, if you got the blood, yeah. Then you're connected with Jesus. Yeah. You got the blood. You are a part of this life. Yes, yes. God bless you today. Yes, sir. For the glory of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Straightway Christian Church. Join us again next Sunday at 10 a.m. on Facebook Live or subscribe to our YouTube channel where our weekly sermons are posted so that you don't miss out on the message God wants to bring through this ministry. You have an opportunity to be a blessing to our ministry by visiting our website at straightwaychurch.org. To make a donation, you click Give. You can also use the Tithely app on your phone. That's T I T H E dot L Y. We do offer curbside pickup for members who would like to give on Sundays from 12 to 2. Your gift helps us continue to serve this community in God's kingdom and is greatly appreciated. Thank you again for tuning in to today's broadcast and for being a part of our family.